morning. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. How are you this morning? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wendy, will you get them all some coffees, please? How are you, ladies? Not this too morning? much, though. <laughs> it's the uh, Baby Bonanza with Target and Breakfast Television. Um, and so we need you to listen up here because you're going to need some advice from Corrine here. Corrine Ewart, editor in chief of Today's Parent. We're going to be talking about uh, getting your kids, your baby, to sleep through the night. Well, you've experienced this. You know what we're talking about here. You know, you have an amazing journey that you're about to start, and I think that. Uh, one of the most underrated things is how important sleep is, not just for the baby, but for the parents too. So I'll never forget being in my first uh, prenatal class and the instructor said, how many of you are gonna let your baby sleep in your bed with you? And I thought, well, babies don't sleep in a bed. Babies sleep in the crib and they sleep a lot and they seem to always be asleep. And it's actually not always that easy. It, you, you know, and, and the experts will tell you the baby should not sleep in the bed with you. Yep. Experts will tell you, close the door to the nursery and just let them cry it out. And, 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 but you know what? Sometimes when a mom is so sleep deprived too, some of that stuff just goes out the window. Yeah, so. and I think it's really important to actually also acknowledge what you as a mom are capable of. You know, there are some parents out there that are able to let their babies cry it out and use the Ferber system that they call it. But there's other parents that really, I was one of those parents that the second my baby cried, I, cried, I picked her up. My father-in-law said to me, like, you can let her cry for a few minutes. I'm like, no, no, she needs to be picked up. She needs something if they're crying. But it really, you can get a sleeper and they sleep five, six hours straight. You can get a non-sleeper like my first one, which was you put her down and she would wake up the second you put her down. So yeah. it, go ahead. I, may, I was just going to make a suggestion. You know what? You, you, you let dad take care of it. Actually, <laughs> I was going to bring this up. The most important thing a new dad can do, I think, is take the baby for a walk. Because it's, even if the baby's sleeping, a new mom feels like she should be doing something. But if the baby is out of the house, 20 minutes even. Put your feet up, relax, get a little bit of a break. Because sleep deprivation can be hard to deal with. So, so you've got, and we got a couple of things here. Yeah. I mean, I mean have, having a routine sometimes is, Bingo. I found with the four kids, a routine is so important. From the moment you get home from the hospital, start your bedtime routine. Even if it's two o'clock in the afternoon, you know, you really want to instill the same routine every single day at the exact same time. So most people like the bath time, story time, bedtime. Once they have teeth, you want to incorporate the brushing of the teeth part. Uh, but using, you know, using some relaxing scents, using a humidifier that might have some white noise is really good for some babies when you put them down. Um, making sure you have a monitor that you trust can actually help you relax and not feel quite so stressed out knowing that it's there if you need it. Um, but the routine I think is really, really important for everybody to do. And actually, back to your point, making sure that dad is involved in it as well. Yeah, and, and something we talked about at the top, and I want to revisit it because it is not safe to sleep with the baby in the bed with you. As, as much as moms think they're going to be safe, it's okay. I do it all the time. I did it with my first. You, you, please, and, and doctors will tell you this. It, it's, it's never safe to have the baby sleep in bed with you. Right. It, it's safer it, it's, for sure for the baby to sleep in a bassinet or somewhere outside of the bed. The blankets and the pillows are really the most important thing. Also, smoking is a huge no-no for everyone, of course, in general, but also when you have a new baby. So there's a variety of strategies you can do to decrease the risk of SIDS. And I'll be honest with you, I was one of those parents that celebrated my baby's first year birthday. Less about the birthday, more about the fact that they said that the SIDS rates actually decreased at that point. So. And, and when we were having our kids, I mean, over the last 20 so uh, so years, they kept changing SIDS. Sleep on the stomach, sleep yeah. on the back. And, and the last I remember it was back to sleep, right? Back to sleep. Back Absolutely. To sleep. Absolutely. And no, no bumpers, no blankets. And if you want to swaddle using a, a, a very snug swaddling strategy you can go to todaysparent.com we have a, a how-to video there showing you exactly how to do it so yeah really important back to sleep all right uh, you know what all moms this is for you guys. Uh, you're all getting this $100 prize pack swaddler blanket diapers wipes $50 target gift card as well and this here we go the, the, the target shopping cart is coming out uh, so everybody's getting one of these <laughs> We also have uh, one of these prize packs for a mom at home. So follow and tweet at BT Toronto with a hashtag BT Baby. Hashtag BT Baby for your chance to win. And we have much more in the way of prizes coming up later on today on Breakfast Television. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Nice to see you. We'll be back with more BT right after this, 626.